Hi children, hope you're all well. We're going to do some maths today and we're going to do some, continue doing some adding and subtraction. Before we do that, we're going to um, play the counting game that we played last week where we're going to do I count, you count, okay? So we're going to go all the way to 20. So remember, when I point to you, you've got to count. You ready? So I'm going to start with me. Here we go. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. Well done, good. Okay, this time I'm going to go backwards. Right, okay, here we go. I'm going to start. 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. Well done. Good. I hope I did that right. Didn't get mixed up there. Okay, so um, we're going to do, as I said, some more addition and subtracting today. Um, some of these questions are going to be um, word problems that we had last week, and some of them are just going to be um, sort of the, the written sums. So you're going to have to answer this, the number sentences. So um, we're going to, in school, use Numicon to help us this week with answering the questions. And um, I'm going to attach the you know, Numicon uh, pictures again for you to do, uh, to print off if you can, um, or you can draw your own, okay? So I'm just going to show you some examples of how we can use the Numicon and then I'll upload the sheet for you to, to do at home. Okay, bear with me. Just get my board. First question was 10 add 2 equals. That's our first question. So this one isn't a um, this one isn't a word problem, this one is a number sentence. So 10 add 2. So I'm gonna get my numicon now, and I'm gonna get the two pieces 10 and 2. So some of you might know the answer already, some of you might know what that is. Okay, if you don't, what we're going to do, we can count them. Now, I'm not going to start counting from down here because I know that this is 10. So I already know what the biggest number in the number sentence is. It's 10. So we've got 10, 11, 12. So we've got 10 add 2, 10 add 2 equals... 12. Well done. So that's the way that we can work that out using the numicon. Okay, let's do another number sentence. This time we're going to do a subtract question. Okay, so I've got 15 take away 5 equals 15 take away 5. Okay, so this time I'm going to make 15. So we know that when it's a teen number, or a number that's that's um, bigger than 10, so including 11 and 12 in that, we're going to need a 10, a 10 numicon, which is what the 1 stands for in the place value, and a 5 numicon. Okay, we need a 1 and a 5, a 10 and a 5, sorry. So we've got our 10 and our 5. Okay. So that's our numicon there. That's, we're going to pretend they're kind of stuck together now. We are taking away a 5, okay? There's two ways we could do this, okay? Now, we've already got two pieces, even though we're pretending they're stuck together. I know that this is a 5, so I can take that off. And what am I left with? 10. Well done. So we know that 15 take away 10, take away 5, is 10. But if I couldn't split it up, because I've got two pieces, but if I couldn't split it up, 
What I could do is get the number that I'm taking away, which is a five, isn't it? And cover it up. Cover it up. I could cover that bit up or I could cover that bit up, okay? And I've got to see what's left, what bits are not covered up. And the answer is 10. Yeah, because I've got five here and I've got a five here, which is 10. I'll just show you that, uh, what I mean on a smaller piece. So if I had 10, sorry, I didn't write the answer. Let me do the answer first. So we had 15, take away five equals five, okay? If I had 10, take away eight. I'll show you what I mean. I've got 10, take away eight. So I need my, the number here. I need to make this number and I can do that using a whole piece of Numicon here, which is 10. Okay. Now I'm taking away eight. Now, obviously I can't take away eight. I can't break this in half or anything, can I? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the eight piece of Numicon. And I'm going to cover it up. We have done this before, so hopefully you can remember. We're going to cover it up, okay? And we're going to see what we are left with. What bit is not covered up? So how many is not covered up there? Two. So we're left with, when we take 10, take away eight, we're left with two, okay? So that's the way of working that out, okay? If you can, if you can take bits away then take them away. But if you have to cover up, then cover up. It's probably easy for most things to cover up. Okay. Let's do a quick word problem and then I'll leave you. Okay. Sammy has 20 balloons. Six of her balloons pop. How many balloons has she got now? So we're going to put that now into a number sentence. Sammy has 20 balloons. Six of those balloons pop. How many balloons is she left with now? So we can use our Numicon to work that out. So we've got 20. So there isn't a Numicon for 20, but two tens is 20. So I'm going to get two pieces of 10 Numicon. Okay. So I've got two pieces. I've got 20 now. I've made 20. Now, I can't take six away by splitting it up. If I take that off away, then it's not, it, then it's, it, it's too many, isn't it? So we're going to have to cover up. So I need to get six to cover up. So I need a Numicon for six, um, which is, where are my sixes? Sorry, hiding. There we go. I need a six. So I'm going to cover this up now. And I'm going to see what I've got left. What bits? Can't I cover? So I don't need to count all of the holes because I know that this one's 10 and I've got definitely got 10 left. So I'm going to start with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I've got 14 left. So 20 take away 6 is 14. Sammy has 14 balloons left. Okay. So as I said, you've got some problems now. You've got some questions. Some of them are um, number sentences and some of them are um, word problems. So you can work those out. I will attach the Numicon for you to use. Um, so you can print that off or you can draw your own if you haven't got a printer at home. Okay? And don't forget to upload it so I can see how you do. All right then.